We have a CBC News Radio Canada investigation for you tonight, which has discovered just how vulnerable some Canadian cell phone users are to hackers. And you wouldn't even know if you've been targeted. Catherine Cullen is with us now. And, and Catherine, tell us what our investigative team set out to find. Well, Ian, we heard about a type of cell phone surveillance being used to hack into people's phones in other parts of the world. We wanted to know if it could happen here. So we asked NDP MP Matthew Dubé if he'd let us try to hack into his phone. He's the vice chair of the House of Commons National Security Committee. This is a person who is immersed in these kinds of issues all the time at work. Now, working with our colleagues at Radio Canada, we got in touch with some cybersecurity experts, ethical hackers in Berlin. We asked Dubé to get a new phone and give our hackers team his phone number. Watch what happened. I go to you again. So this is Luca Millet. You're watching him try to hack Matthew Dubé's phone. Hi, Mr. Dubé. British Bureau from Radio Canada. Just as Dubé is speaking with my colleague from Radio Canada. We also recorded a call between Dubé and his assistant, and then we went back and played it for Dubé. Hello? Hey, good morning. Uh, I was just calling to follow up on your email. You were talking about drafting a letter. And we were able to track his movements, too. September 19th. You're in Ottawa this day, um, and we can see from some of the cell phone towers that you connected with a, a little bit about where you were. Interestingly, it shows that you went to the Ottawa airport that day, but you didn't leave the city. Well, it's funny, so, and quite scary actually, that was, I was at the airport uh, that fairly late or early, depending how you look at it, at a, for, because of a delayed flight, picking up my partner who was on her way home from a business trip. All right, so I need to underscore this. I mean, he gave us permission, but still he is astonished at how, I guess, relatively easy it was for our ethical hacker to get in there. Uh, technically, how did that happen? Yeah, let, let's walk through this vulnerability in the global cellular network when i make a phone call or send a text we all understand that my phone connects to another phone but there is also a whole other hidden layer of communication that goes on between cell phone networks it's known as signaling system number seven or ss7 it's how they send messages about starting and ending calls or sharing billing information the problem is that hackers can use SS7 too and send messages that allow them to do things like listen to your phone calls, read your text messages, even track your location. And this isn't just a theoretical problem. We know that there have been hacks. Yeah, that's right. Just last May, we heard about customers of a German bank who had untold amounts of money stolen from their accounts. And this was because of a hack that involved an SS7 attack. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security says people have known about weaknesses in SS7 for more than a decade. And it's not just about spying on phones. Hackers can change or delete content, too, like redirecting your voicemail or texts away from your phone. And you might never even know. And to get back to the starting point of, of the CBC Radio Canada investigation, what does this mean for Canadians? Well, we asked our hackers to test the two largest cell phone networks in the country, Rogers and Bell, and just listen to what one of them says isn't being done. I would think um, the two Canadian networks we tested did about 10% of the security that they need to do to protect from this SS7 attack. So two for two, we tested two companies. Uh, they were both vulnerable to this, but they're not saying much. Well, they did both refuse to give us an interview, Ian. In a short statement, Bell said it does work with various groups to address emerging security risks, including SS7 attacks. Rogers also made that point and added, on SS7, we have already introduced and continue to implement the most advanced technologies, but we are unable to share specific details for security reasons. And so uh, what about the, the federal government? Well, we asked the public safety minister what the government is doing to protect Canadians, but his office referred us to CSE. That's the Communication Security Establishment. It's Canada's electronic spy agency. The agency says it is actively working with the telecom industry and others to try to offer guidance and mitigate the risks associated with SS7. And uh, speaking of guidance, and I know you're not going to provide much comfort here, but what, what can people do to try to reduce their vulnerability? Yeah, well, you can use encryption software on your phone, things like WhatsApp, Signal, or Skype, and that can help keep your conversations private. But the only way to stop your phone from being used to track you is to turn it off, and that's not really all that practical for most no, people. No, sure yeah. isn't. Thanks, Catherine. You're welcome.